أخي صبرا على ألم الفراق Now our focus must be on delivering justice to Afia. I'm hopeful Cage will have a presence at the court to monitor proceedings in New York. We must let the judicial system know that we are watching and monitoring their every move. As with the witnesses who will be called to give testimony about how Afia Siddiqui tried to grab their gun and shoot. In particular, a Muslim FBI agent who now faces a dilemma. Does she lie about what she saw in that cell or will she tell the truth? Afia has yet to meet her new legal team and there's a very simple reason for that. You see, every time she steps out of her cell in the New York Detention Center where she is held, she is strip searched. I've seen the CCTV footage of what it means to be searched in this center. In Afia's case, it means being held down by four or five male prison officers while two female officers remove all her clothing and then give her a full cavity search. As I say, I've seen the footage and it was like watching a scene of a rape. And this is what our sister has to go through every time she meets her legal team and once again when she goes back to her cell. In other words, Afia is sexually abused on an almost daily basis. Add this to the daily pain of waking up and not knowing where your children are, one can only imagine how her suffering must be. I really don't know how she has survived so far, but she does know that you care about her. She is receiving cards, she is receiving letters. Cage is urging people to send her uh, just brief messages um, and, and cards to let her know that we do care. Much of the work done by Cage is hard to quant quantify. It's not like raising money to dig a well in a drought-hit village or to buy food to put on someone else's table. But we need to raise public awareness in Afia's case. It is vital that we do it in weeks before the trial begins, not during or after. The New York media are already calling her the Al-Qaeda mum. There's already a process going on. We need to get out there to raise public awareness, to talk about the real Afia Siddiqui, the mother, the, the, the daughter, the caring side of Afia, the brilliant side of this uh, neuroscientist, the compassionate side of Afia Siddiqui. As I said before, Cage is running a letter campaign, so please send her a card or a note to tell her that you love her as your sister in Islam and tell her that we are making dua for her. It is my dream that when we all meet again here next year, well, probably not exactly at this venue, but when we all meet again, Afia will be here in person to thank you for all the help that you've given this last year. The Pakistan government has given $2 million for her legal battle, but the parallel battle which must be fought and which can only be fought by organizations like Cage Prisoners is the one to raise awareness in the American media. But press packs cost money and work and all the literature that we have to uh, send out to the media, we really um, do need your help. We can't do it on our own. So Moazan mentioned the auction and uh, really I will also be asking you to dig deep and deeper still. I'm planning to go to New York to address a series of meetings before the trial begins. We need to get the media on our side. We need to influence public opinion and get our sister out of this dreadful situation. Thank you very much. Salam alaikum.